everyone! Welcome to Baking with Emily and Gabby. Today we'll be making a cinnamon roll cake. Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Ferris along with Gabby. Gabby's the star Should of today's uh, cooking show. So what, what are we making here? Um, we are making a cinnamon roll cake with icing frosting. You, you had me with the cinnamon and icing. Two of my favorite <laughs> things. You can't go wrong with that. So you just take those ingredients that you had listed and throw them all in there? Yeah, basically. Um, we combine the wet and the dry ingredients, and we just basically mix them together to make the um, cake batter. They talk about the greatest invention since sliced bread, but a kitchen aid is right up there as greatest inventions ever. I mean... You can't go wrong with the kitchen aid. You can't. Um, you didn't get, is that almond milk? Yeah, we didn't have normal milk, so we had to use almond milk, but it still worked. And so if you were allergic to almonds, you wouldn't want to use that. Yeah. Now this kitchen looks familiar. Is that, is that Emily's house? It is, yeah. Because that was one of the construction projects the school worked on a few years ago. So, oh, what? <laughs> Did you partake in that, or is that just Emily? Um, I believe that was just Emily. Sounds about right as well. All right, so throughout the show, we're going to show you a little bit about this baking and promote another one of our CTE classes. So, Yesterday, an experimental vaccine developed by Novax, a biotech company located in Maryland, was reported 95.6 effective at preventing COVID-19. Results from Phase 3 trial in the United Kingdom displayed the vaccine's efficiency and showed that it also protected against the UK variant. Results from another trial took place in South Africa showed that it was also effective against the variant there. Johnson & Johnson's new COVID vaccine single shot vaccine has been proven to be 66 effective in the global trial and 85% effective against the severe disease. The, this was tested in a global phase three trial and has been more effective only having to take one vaccine. 14 year old Joachim Robinson was charged with second degree murder of an 84 year old Eva Fueled in Syracuse apartment. Investigators say that she'd been murdered days before she had been found. Eva Fueled lived alone in her Grant Village apartment when Robinson and another knocked down her door and stole credit cards, insurance cards, and anything else he could find. Her wounds indicated that she was stabbed to death. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next week, help us celebrate the Super Bowl with the Spartan Pride Bowl. Students and staff, dig out your favorite football jerseys. Spartan Pride will also host a special Super Bowl lunch next Tuesday and Friday. There will be awesome Super Bowl menu and prizes. My team's never made it to the Super Bowl. But my favorite football team's ESM Spartans. So <laughs> They can't even make it. All right, so part two of your baking. Um, just so everybody knows, we kind of shortened this video so that everybody yeah. could, could see the whole thing. So where can we watch it? The full video will be posted on our website. All right. So that's www.esmschools.org forward slash SN. All right. So you are, did, did you butter the pan? Yeah, we did butter the pan so the cake does not stick to it. All right. That's, <clears throat> that's a good tr trick. And then is, at this part, are we adding the cinnamon yet? Or is this just um, the... No, we, so first we leveled it out to get the air bubbles out of it, and then we made the cinnamon filling and added it. Okay. Which is what we're doing there. So my daughter, like, was making something that required brown sugar, and she thought adding cinnamon to white sugar made brown sugar. Yeah, and I don't think that's how it works. No. Do you know what the brown is in brown sugar? I do not. Mm. What is it? It's molasses. Here's our weather. Currently, there is a wind chill advisory in effect for most of central New York. Today will be very cold with some lake effect snow showers and a coating of an inch or two of snow is possible with highs only near 10. Saturday will continue to be cold with a mix of clouds and some brief flurries with highs around 15. Sunday there will be increasing clouds but it will not be as cold as the previous two days with highs near 20. 
Monday and Tuesday have a chance of snow with highs near 30. Wednesday will be brisk with a chance of showers with highs in the upper 20s. And Thursday will have some sun and clouds with more seasonable temperatures with highs in the low 30s. I'm Nicole with your weather. All right, now I gotta ask you, with something like the glaze for the sugar, this sugar thing here, mm -hmm. did you put like half on the recipe, on the cake, and then eat the other half straight out of the bowl? No, we actually put it all on the cake because we tried it and it honestly didn't really taste that good. Like you have to have something with it in order for it to taste like really good. Because it tastes really bland on its own. All right. So. Now, have you ever made cinnamon rolls before? Yeah. So was this? It's is, basically is this just like a giant cinnamon roll. It's really what it is. It, it looks good. <laughs> Any mistakes did you make during this? Yeah. So when we were adding the cinnamon filling, I don't know if like the consistency was off or whatever, or just the fact that we mixed it, but it just looked weird and it wasn't on top of the cake. It was actually like in the batter. But it honestly still turned out fine. I think it was kind of better that it was in the batter. I think we have some reviews at the end of the show. Uh, sports, ESM Sports start up on Monday. Ty has some more on sports right now. First, we'd love to give a quick shout out to Ariana Finkelstein for breaking a weight room record. Congrats to her. And second of all, on February 1st, all high-risk sports will be able to resume practice and games. So make sure to sign up on Family ID if you're looking to play a winter sport. And again, uh, congratulations to Ariana. On Thursday, January 8th, Ari broke a seven-year-old school record in the hang clean by lifting 135 pounds. Ari is a two-sport athlete in girls basketball and track. Great job, Ariana. Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson officially requested a trade from the team. Watson and the Texans haven't been on the best terms, and since he has a no-trade clause, any trade the Texans make will need the approval of Watson. And with more on that, here's Dan. Well, on Sunday, Aaron Rodgers made the comment, there are a lot of futures that are uncertain right now, myself included, saying after the loss to the Buccaneers, there are a lot of things up in the air. Now, later on Tuesday, on Aaron Rodgers Tuesday on the Pat McAfee show, he goes to clear up. He said, ultimately, my future is not in my control. As he goes on to say, he was supporting his teammates who do have futures that aren't necessarily guaranteed at the moment. He also goes on to say, there should be no reason why I'm not returning next year based off the MVP performance season he has had. He also goes to say, it also goes to show that there's no absolute in this industry. Now, the thing about this is, Skip Bayless on Wednesday made this comment. Hashtag thank you Aaron Rodgers for letting down Packer Nation in all five of your NFC Championship games. Even the first one when you barely hung on to beat Caleb Haney, and especially this last one in the fourth quarter against Brady and the Bucks. Thank you so much for entertainingly deflecting any blame. He later goes to say, he later goes to say that the media, game, media gig with Pat McAfee is paid when really it's not because I watched that show on Tuesday and they had no idea if he was coming on the show or not. So, Skip Bayless also goes to say he's the master of deflecting blame. At bright side is, anybody in the Packers Nation has nothing to worry about and Skip Bayless, it is time for you to grow up. And on a cold, rainy, night in London yesterday, the Tottenham Hotspurs took a uh, awful loss to the Liverpool Reds, 3-1. to one. You know, if you're a Tottenham Hotspurs fan like I, it was an awful game to watch, very disappointing, it was a big game. And now in the Premier League, that leaves the standings with Manchester City in first place, Manchester United in second place, Leicester in third, Liverpool in fourth, and West Ham United in fifth. All right, so if you are interested in culinary.
English and history. Culinary students learn and experience the science involved in cooking at a hands-on level. Students learn at elementary levels that elements react differently under certain conditions. Well, food also has many different elements, and every method of cooking causes a variation to the effect. The possibilities are endless. Learning a 21st century skill which cannot be outsourced is going to be the wave of the future. Sustainability in the food industry includes, but is not limited to, buy local, my local. It also includes restaurants growing on some of their own product. Math is something we all need to count on. Students learn and practice, measuring, conversions, food costing, and menu planning, just to name a few things. The culinary arts program here at ESM High School prepares our students for the workforce and for college. So if you are interested in a career like this, start taking culinary classes at this high school. We'll be promoting CTE classes all next week. It's time to start signing up for classes for next year, so take a look at that. And what are we ending with? That's all we have for today. No, we're not. And the taste test. Oh, who, yeah. But I don't know who it is. We had taste tests. We had Mr. Andrews, Mrs. Andrews, and me and Emily did taste tests. So from everyone here on The Morning Show, have a great day. Mm. Ooh, it's good. <laughs> that is really, really good. Thank you. <laughs> he just eats it on one bite. Mmm, <laughs> awesome. Thank you.